Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I want to show you a quick overview over the new Gore Launcher 5EX, which is also available in a Prime version with upgraded features. And yeah, it basically now features um, new icons, new designs, new menus. So I like this very much. This is very uh, pretty much like the Metro design on Windows Phone. App Draw is the same like in the previous versions. You can also change the order and um, you can unlink apps from these folders. You can um, auto sort them. You can have your uh, quick links to search and play store. So nothing new here. Let's check out the smoothness, very smooth launcher. So you can see five home screens is the stock setting. These widgets you can get and you can download them, but they are pretty much bloatware. You can just throw them away if you don't need them. So whether widget is pre-installed, now let's go into preferences and I will show you some um, of the customization features. I won't go over all because yeah, it's very much stuff to uh, set up here. So no ads and security lock is um, on only available in the prime version. So language settings you can set here. Wallpaper mode, you can um, go for multiple screen, scrollable or single screen, not scrollable. I like scrollable. Infinite scrolling, this is like the Samsung uh, touch with. Set as default launcher, so nothing new here. Icon, you can uh, customize the icon size for dock and uh, yeah, for basically all your home screens. You can change icon style for your dock. Uh, dock icons, you can change your folder icons and your menu icons. So let's go for default theme here for folder. Now this is square. Go for this one. It's a little bit rounded. And dock icons, let's go for default. And you can see the changes we made. This is like in our previous version. It's very minimalistic. And I like it very much. And these apps are also not installed. You can get them now. They are just ads in another form. Go to preferences and let's check out some more features of it. The font, of course, you can change that. Select font. Let's go for monospace just to just to show it, just to try it out. Yeah, it's uh, now in bold setting, but yeah great font but uh, yeah you can always go ahead and install uh, some fonts if you like uh, let's go to font another time now this font in these menus is now also changed show screen label background yeah you can mess with it yourself but let's go to wallpaper mode yeah scrollable filters uh, you can also have that in the prime version and blur wallpaper is also good. Let's check it out. Now, if you're in um, App Drawer, the uh, background is blurred, which I like uh, the most about this setting. Yeah, very great looking. Um, great that you have background settings here. Let's go to back dog background. Uh, none. Yeah, there's no line uh, now. But um, let's go ahead and change it again. You can set another background for the um, dock itself. So let's go to custom background one, one time here and go to gallery just once. Wallpaper, this one. And yeah, no crop. Ha, <laughs> great. We need to crop it, but yeah, let's check out the next feature. So now let's go to screen settings, which is called screens here. Um, maybe you wonder why the lighting is different. It's because I recorded the first part of the video the other day because I didn't have time to finish it. So yeah, let's go to grid size. You can always go ahead and go for custom grids, which, which I did. Uh, tightest and tight and standard are the options. 
and uh, resizes widgets and icons you can press that if you like show status bar you can actually turn that off if you don't like it screen orientation is is um self explaining but we can actually uh go for horizontal mode and i will show you how it looks like when it's in horizontal mode only a little bit difficult yeah now you can see it i'm charging it uh and yeah the status bar is gone so now you have your screen real estate perfectly used and it looks great so if you like to um, use your phone in horizontal mode or if you want to um, go for system settings you can do that and it will um, change to landscape mode or horizontal mode um, automatically so go for screen orientation and go for uh, follow system settings you can do that and achieve automatic screen uh, rotation infinite scrolling uh, indicator style you can go for numeric style um, or default theme UI 5.0 is the one I like indicator style I can show you what will change if you uh, go for another option these are the little numbers and uh, yeah uh, my favorite setting is actually uh, the classic style which is on top of the clock if you have a clock on top of your screen so let's go to preferences once again and go to screens then go to indicator style uh, default theme then go to the top of screen and then you have the old style from go launcher 3 go to preferences once again and now we jump directly to app drawer which you can also customize i have a custom grid size here six by four i can show you that in a minute and uh, yeah top action bar you know that from the old versions so i don't have to explain that one uh, another time uh, side dock dock row you can actually go for two docks or if you like up to three loop mode it's the same with app draw and screen show dock you can disable it and side dock is for prime version uh, gestures and animation is is actually also in the free version screen transition uh, this is limited as you can see the prime version is yellow and you can uh, unlock them by buying the app itself the unlock code i will go uh, to home screen and show you some some transition effects so now you can see the dock yeah you can actually have two docks which is kind of good so you don't have to um to bloat up your uh, home screen and have it uh, simple and clean and you can also put your favorite apps down here instead of the home screen and um, now i will show you the app drawer and then i will show you some effects for the home screen so this is the app drawer you can see i can scroll and scroll and i've uh, disabled the action bar and uh, i have six icons by four which looks really good and uh, i have blurred the background wallpaper now let's go to uh, transitions effect and then we go for random to show you some i jump right through and you can see these effects which are available Yeah, I don't have many widgets on the home screen, but I guess you can see it very well. So let's go to <laughs> preferences once again, and I will show you the last thing, which is advanced settings, which is basically not that much to uh, explain. Uh, support transparent status bar, you can check that. Uh, okay, let's check it out. It's only for some phones. 
doesn't work for all. Of course, we have to enable the status bar to see this. Preferences. Um, go to screens, then go to status bar, show status bar, and go back. It actually is transparent, but um, transparency is also enabled by default um, from Moto Blur. So you can check that and have a transparent status bar. Um, advanced settings, uh, copy home screen, clean rubbish data. You can also back up your uh, home screens, prevent false closes. System persistent um, is when you jump back to your home screen, it uh, won't load all the widgets, uh, widgets and um, the launcher will keep them in memory. Uh, last thing I want to show you is the weather application, which is kind of good. You can also download full version, which is Go Weather. It features some nice features, uh, some nice uh, backgrounds and nice forecasts, and it looks good. If you wonder what this wallpaper is, it's um, from the Chrome Chrome OS pack. You can also Google it, Chrome OS wallpapers, and yeah. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye. And outtakes. Hey guys, today I want to show you a quick overview over the newest Go launcher, which is version 5. Um, you can also download the Prime version for a little bit of money. Um, it costs uh, money. Yeah. <laughs> App. Zoom. Apps. Zoom. Great.